Hello everyone, welcome to the oil and gas operations in high seas series and today we are going to be um, talking about atmospheric distillation of crude oil. Once again, I'm on the boat John from Junior Street and thank you. Please also do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'd like to apologize for not uploading this video earlier. I've been busy, some things came up and this might be the last video i'll upload in a while it might take a long while before i upload the next video in this series so kindly bear with me also i'll be replying your emails today i'll try as much as possible to reply them i've had a lot of email and i've not been um, free to attend to them i'll do my best to do that just after recording this video thanks for bearing with me so straight to the business of the learning objectives uh, to build and converge an atmospheric um, crude column which should not be so difficult for you if you've been following this series if you do not know how to do this on your own just try and follow the initial the training course series i'll put the link in the um, description for the initial um training course it's here on youtube too now um, use high seas to analyze and predict the behavior of simulated column or simulated column also add side operations to to a column to improve operations and efficiency as the size operation the side operations will be um, adding would be um, side strippers and pump arounds just to improve the operation and efficiency of the column then add cut point specifications to increase side product quality so as an introduction atmospheric crude columns are one of the most important pieces of equipment in petroleum refining because that is where the actual distillation happens now they are typically located after the desalter and the crude furnace the crude furnace was the um the preheat train we designed in the previous um in the previous video in the previous lecture that was the preheat train which we've already done now the atmospheric tower serves to distill it serves to distill the crude oil into several cuts several different cuts this includes nafta kerosene um light diesel heavy diesel and agio now in this lecture we'll construct run analyze and manipulate an atmospheric column simulation now we will begin by building a simple column and continue by adding side operations now here's a problem setting a feed stream from a preheat tray is fed into the 28 tray of a refluxed absorber with 29 trays and a partial condenser to separate off gases nafta and bottom residue to separate off gases nafta and bottom residue okay we also told that a steam a steam stream of these details that's the vapor fraction pressure and flow rate is fed to the bottom of the tower to provide the necessary heat also a water draw stream is required to remove the condensed steam from the overhead condenser now the tower is operated at the following condition that the um, condenser pressure pressure drop and bottom stage pressure also condenser temperature top and bottom stage temperatures are also given the overhead vapor rate is given now the distillate rate will calculate i'll show you how to calculate it so technically it's been given it's already in the simulation so we just look for it and find it now also this is the problem so then what is the flow rate of nafta residue and the wastewater that's from the um, absorber so let's open our hyces so we are here at ices in ices okay we it will open our last case file because that's where we'll be starting from which is the receipt that's preheat train 
okay it's loading okay it's already loaded so let's just a quick preview of what we designed initially so this was it we first characterized the crude oil please if you did not know how to do this or if you did not attend this particular lecture if you did not view the particular lecture you need to go back i'll drop the link in the description then we designed the preheat strain all these to just heat a furnace technically that's what it is just to from here all these just to heat the crude before entering the um, distillation column so now straight to the um, work of today so from the problem system, we were told it was um, a reflux absorber. So let's come to a column and this is the reflux absorber. So you can double click it. Also, before you do that, we need to um, provide a steam stream, which we design. Let's just call it distillation column. material stream here let's call it steam uh, this is steam stream we're told that the vapor fraction is one the pressure is one three eight C K P A the flow rate is 3400 as a mass flow rate. We'll come to composition and specify that this is one since it is steam according to the problem statement. So that's that for that. We can come back here. We can name this DC condenser Q since it's partial. There's a water draw which should be waste water. So all this is 29 stages. The inlet will be the preheated crude, and it's entering at stage 28. The bottom stage will be the steam stream. Now the bottom liquid, let's call this atmospheric um, residue, or you can just call it residue. And also, since what we actually distillate in is um, NAFTA, quantity program statement, then the first one will be off gases. But if you want to confirm, okay, let's just close this for now. Let's close this for now. Let's come to properties. Then your oil manager, oil manager output blend. Double click on this blend. Let's see the various cuts. You can see these are the various cuts. They are arranged from off gases to residue. That's the lightest to the heaviest. So what will be at the top of the um, installation unit should be off gases. Then NAFTA, which we are actually targeting. Then the residue, which is the heaviest component. So also notice the fraction of NAFTA since we are working with it. So just write this down 0 0.153. So let's go back to our simulation. It should be off gases, right? I think we can proceed to the next stage. Next, so condenser pressure we are giving to be 140. The pressure drop of 60 kilopascal. The bottom stage 230. So that's that. Then the temperature estimate, which was given to be 40. 120 and 
три порции. Next, now the vapor rate was given to be zero, but the flow basis should be volume. Also, the liquid rate. We also calculate the liquid rate now. It's going to be since what um, the distillate is actually naphtha. It's going to be the fraction of naphtha in the crude multiplied by the flow rate of the crude and. And the flow rate of the crude can be found here in meters cube per hour, which is this 68, 681.9. 681.9. So you use your calculator, multiply 0 0.153 by 681.9. You should get 10. You should get 104.3307. So you put it here 104.3307. Monitor. We are not using the reflux ratio, we are using the distillate rate and vapor rate. So let's untick this. Converged. I didn't even need to click on run. Converged. So we are done with the first program statement. Let's just arrange this of gases. Wastewater. Master. Okay. I think that's that. Now we should save this as a new case file. So let's save as. So we can now save this as. Um, or should we save it as atmospheric distillation? Okay, that's that. We've saved it. Um, so let's go back to our slide and see what we are doing next. So we have, we've done this. We've done this. What is the flow rate of naphtha residue in wastewater? Let's go back to ISIS to find out. This is you can just click here to get everything at once. Worksheet. This is naphtha. Okay, this is flow rate. Normally, this is um, a refinery operation. You should just use meter cube per hour, volume per hour. That's the like standard or barrels per hour. But let's use meter cube per hour. This flow rate of naphtha, this flow rate of wastewater, and this flow rate of um, the residue. So, this is what you should be getting. Okay, the video is getting long. I do not like it because I understand that some people have short attention span. So, okay. Now, side strippers. Side strippers are added to the column in order to improve the quality of the three main products. That's the kerosene, diesel, and the AGO. There are two types of side strippers which you are going to actually see as you design, which are the um, reboils and steam stripped. Now we will install one reboil and um, two steam strip. Now these are the details. You can just write this down so that you do not have to pause this video and write this down so that you can be following with me when we are doing the simulation. Okay, so the compression steam strip. You know we said one reboil and two steam strip. So let's go back to our. Uh, Isis. Okay. 
we're good to go so we click on this side operations and side stripper add so the first one we'll be adding would be um, the AG AGO AGO side strippers also because two of them are steam that's the AGO and the diesel we have to create um, steam streams for them too so let me just cancel this we'll come back to this so let's create Let me put them here. We'll arrange them later. Let's call this a a G O steam. The temperature is one fifty. Pressure is three fifty. The flow rate is one one five zero kilogram per hour. Composition is definitely water only. Now uh, diesel steam. Temperature is also one fifty. Pressure is also three fifty. But the mass flow is one three fifty. Then the composition composition is one just water. So that's that for that. We can size strippers. Let's add one A G O S S. Okay, the return stage is 20. No, the return stage is 21. And the draw stage is 22. Now, the flow base should be steady ideal volume. It is a, the composition is steam stripped. So the steam feed should be AGO steam. The product stream should be AGO product. Or just a geo and one like now the draw spec should be um, to get the draw spec I'll come let's just install so that we do not have to do this let's go to our crude and check the cut So click on this but you can see that this is for AGO 0 0.005 so just same thing we did for NAFTA you multiply them by 681.9 which was the which is the um, flow rate of the crude oil itself so this is AGO this is kerosene and this is diesel let's use light diesel so kerosene diesel 0.045 we are going to multiply them by 681.9 to get the draw spec it is just the flow rate so let's come back here So you can say the draw rate is um so when you multiply that you should get 30.69 okay I've been unable to edit it so let's just delete it then add a new one again so let's add a G O side stripper 
the return stage is 21 the draw stage is 22 right this the um, stained it should be a stain why aren't we seeing okay maybe because we do the edit a stain the product should be a geo a geo now the draw spec should be 30.69 and we install so I'm coming so let's come to this AGO thing then sorry sorry for that i was distracted a bit so this temperature let's put it at um, 150 up until the problem statement pressure is 350 the flow rate is 1150 so the composition of course be one So if we run this, it should converge now. Okay, converge. That's that. So let's just read this. Why is NAFTA not? I don't know why it's showing that way, but since it's converged, we're not supposed to be having any issue. Okay, now it's off gases we'll, we'll deal with that later so let's add the remaining two side strippers so we'll just repeat the same process now for diesel diesel side stripper which is also um steamed so the return stage is um 16 and the draw stage is 17 and we have the diesel steam already the product stream should be let's say diesel the spec should be um, the spec should be that's 0 0.102 which is for light the fraction of light diesel multiplied by okay for diesel you would actually add for light crude and heavy crude which is 0 0.102 plus 0 0.0087 then multiplied by 6819 i believe you understand so draw spec should be 128.88 if i'm correct do that on your calculator just to just to be sure I, I think we did this already. Why is it? I'm coming. Okay, let me sign up. I'm oh, sorry. Run the column. Let's add the last um, 
side stripper which is for kerosene so let's add kerosene kerosene sf that side stripper so the return stage is eight oh god this video is getting long let me hasten up then then the the draw stage is nine the return stage is eight nine using this the product stream should be kerosene now the draw spec should be um 64.1 and that's the 0 0.094 multiplied by the flow rate which is uh, flow rate of the crude which is 681.9 then we install since it's reboiled coming so that's that let's run it and see see if it faces i'm coming let me fix something okay yeah that's that it's properly arranged so let's This is this one. This is a jewel. This is wastewater. This is off gas. This is kerosene. This is residue. Yes, the rough is the work is rough, so. Okay, I think it's it's a bit arranged now. So that's that. At least we have a geo, we have naphtha, we have this, we have kerosene, the off gases, water, wastewater, and residue. So now let's add um, what we call pump rounds, which we are towards the end of the class already. Now pump rounds help to improve the column's efficiency. They operate by drawing water, by drawing um, a liquid stream from one stage cooling it and pumping it into a higher stage you understand and um, they take the draw liquid stream from one stage then cooling it and pumping it into a higher stage just to um, increase the efficiency or the effectiveness of the color now in effect this process adds to the reflux between these two stages you understand so now this um this is the detail of um, the the pump around um, we have the AGO pump arounds, the diesel pump arounds, the kerosene pump arounds. So, and we have this. So, just write this down and let's go back to HISIS. You can pause that video at that point and come back to HISIS. So, still the same thing. We add pump arounds. Easy process. Just add, um, let's call this AGO pump around. EGOPA, the return stage is, is 21, the draw stage is 22, then we just install. Okay, yeah. So after installation, the flow rates we are given to be 200. We close this. The um, duty we are given to be minus 3.7 exponential 7. That's that's so wrong. Ah, so let's add for um diesel. The 
Let's all pump around the return stage. The return stage is 16. The draw stage is 15 or so. 17 rather. Draw stage is 17. So we install. Okay. Just in case yours isn't at duty at first, just click on duty. Now the rate is they're given to be 200 so. then the duty is um, spec value is minus 3.7 exponential 70 Does that so let's add the last one which is for kerosene kerosene wow this is 30 minutes into the video i'm sorry that this is long i should have split it so kerosene is the draw stage the return stage is nine the draw stage is eight so you install go through the same process you double click flow rates is 330 right okay where is this 330 rate double click on the rate is 330 then double click on this is um minus 4.5 exponential 7 wrong okay that is converged that is converged so I think that's the end of the lecture so you can save just control s and save it So, thank you all for attending, for listening. Kindly invite your friends to subscribe to this YouTube channel also, just to learn chemical engineers, petroleum engineers. Every engineer that they are spent high is relevant to both students and professionals and recent graduates. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and also do well to click on the bell sign so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you very, very much. And